This is Nina Curley of Wamda Media. I'm here chatting with Sarkan Savim, the CEO and founder of Media Nova, one of Turkey's largest streaming services companies. Uh, Media Nova made the Deloitte Technology Fast 500 list for Europe, the Middle East, and, North, and Africa, um, and also the Deloitte Fast 50 in Turkey. And since its launch in 2005, has scaled massively. Sarkin, can you speak to your biggest challenges when scaling the company? Well, uh, when we started the company, the biggest challenge was to build the right team with the right expertise and uh, motivate them to work on a, on a goal. Uh, and the next challenge probably within our culture, within the Turkish culture, uh, there's a big uh, admire on foreign companies and foreign solutions uh, like uh, maybe US-based or European-based solutions. So this was my second biggest challenge to convince uh, our potential customers, big corporates, to rely on Medianova services and uh, Turkish uh, engineering uh, on that sense. And let's jump into the first one a little bit. How did you find the right team? Or did you look outside? Um, or were, did you only hire locally in Turkey? In our culture, uh, building uh, digital products, digital platforms are not very common. So uh, it's, it's hard to find good engineers who has expertise on the big uh, platforms, big uh, technologies. So th this is a challenge. The way we sold it uh, is that... Uh, we invested a lot of money and time to develop our own engineers, actually. Moving on to your second biggest challenge, how do you get... So today you've worked with the biggest eBay site in Turkey. You've done cloud hosting for MSN's IM. How do you get customers around the globe to trust you and trust uh, cloud hosting in, in Turkey out of Istanbul? At the beginning, I was relying on my personal career. Uh, I started my first business in the United States. Uh, I was pretty successful. Uh, I was the entrepreneur of the year on Ernst & Young, and we were Baltimore Business Journal, fastest growing company. So we had a lot of experience. And I remember my first sales pitches to these big guys. I was saying that I'm here and it's going to be a success. Trust us. Trust me. We had com some companies we are always, always thankful for. One of them is Digiturk of Turkey, owner of the football rights. Uh, so who trusts us at the first days and the second company maybe TTNet, a Turk Telecoms company. So these companies really trust us at the beginning that help us to create some references. Absolutely. Um, and when it comes to, so you've worked in uh, for digital media companies, e-commerce companies. Um, how have these two sectors in particular and cloud hosting as well, how have those scaled over the past decade in Turkey? Can you speak to the trend? Yeah, they're, they're booming, extremely growing companies. In Medianova, we have a motto saying that no matter how small is the customer, we should get them in because they will grow. And uh, they grow 30 times, 40 times within the last couple of years. So, and the, the, the demand is huge and everything works uh, with the trend. Uh, we have a big uh, in, uh, growth in the ADSL market from 2005 to 2009, 10, let's say, and then the 3G came along, the mobile internet came along, and it was a huge hit that grew the market even higher. And your user base, let's say, the, the ADSL or broadband users grows, at the same time, the services grows. Like, the, the, you have a new, new websites, new, new web TV products, new e-commerce sites. So, this is like exponential growth that we, we, have, we realized in Turkey for the last couple of years. So it sounds like a lot of that business is not just large companies, but a lot of startups coming on board as mobile and internet penetration improves. How many of your customers, what percentage would you say are startups? Well, uh, I can tell uh, probably about uh, 7 to 8 percent is startups. And I love startups. Uh, we usually don't negotiate with startups. We, we, we get them what they want in terms of pricing. Uh, because I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur and uh, I would love to support as much as we can. When you look at Turkey versus the Arab world, do you have any plans to expand further into the Arab world or are you facing more a Europe and U.S. market? Well, uh, we, are, we are different on that sense. We are targeting directly the Middle Eastern and, uh, market and the Arab world because it, I feel and I believe our culture is a little bit different than the U.S. world and uh, somehow different than the European world. 
And I know that as Medianova, we understand uh, what they need. This is not exactly the same. This is, this is really interesting uh, market. And I'm a Turkish person, so I know how people feel. So we are targeting more and more the Arab world. Uh, we started to uh, invest heavily in, in the Middle East last year. Uh, we sponsored a couple events like Arab Nets and the IPTV World. Uh, so we were pretty active and, uh, in that region. Uh, of course, we get a lot of leads uh, for the video services, for hosting, cloud hosting services. And, and we have a new uh, network in, in Dubai and one in Egypt. So we are, we are working heavily with these companies. What is your advice for an entrepreneur starting up today in the Arab world or in Turkey? What I can say, if you have an idea, start it right away. And don't wait for a magical investor to support you. You are not building a FedEx. You are not building something that, like this. If you are in the technology field, you should at least be able to start something and show them. I, I usually have meets with, uh, with small companies as an angel investor. So I talk to them and usually you have a meeting with them, you realize what they did and then you have another meeting for, for another month, let's say. When I see that they're on the same spot where I left, it really discourages me. So I want people to move forward and I think that's the, that's the momentum in the startup that attracts people like me or investors in a company. If you move fast, do your thing, then everything is easier. Serkan, thank you so much for chatting and uh, sharing all of your advice with our viewers. Okay, thank you so much.